these are my top five picks for the most versatile wines you should have on hand. So what is a versatile wine? This is something that is very well known in terms of the grape variety or the region. Uh, I don't like to say it, but the crowd pleaser style. So something that a lot of people are going to tend to enjoy. And also that very easy style that you don't always need something to pair with food. So let's explore five options you should always have on hand for any occasion. So first up, I've selected Pinot Gris or Pinot Grigio. This is a very light intensity style of wine, tends to have more pear and apple. A lot of people tend to gravitate towards Italian Pinot Grigios for that light crisp style but we also make some exceptional Pinot Gris in the Okanagan Valley. So this is the same grape variety, but depending on the style, we'll have two different names. So I have selected one called Pinot Grigio, but comes from the Okanagan. I think La Stella makes incredible um, Italian styled Pinot Grigio in the Okanagan. Let's give this wine a taste. So we have some of the classic pear, apple, and some peachy notes. on the palate, light intensity. There's just a little inkling of that Okanagan sun, some nice ripe fruit flavors, but this is going to be um, a very easy sipping, very uh, lovely to share style. Sauvignon Blanc put New Zealand on the map. They make this loud, intensely flavored expression of Sauvignon Blanc with uh, an intense green, grassy, herbal, tropical characteristics. And it has become a very uh, popular style all across the globe. One of the reasons why it is so popular is just because of that loud um, characteristic. It's so easy to taste all of the flavors. Um, so let's give one a try. Right away, I'm hit with this passion fruit, green, grassy, herbal note. Very flavorful. It's so easy to taste the wine. I don't need to overthink this. Just sip and enjoy. French rosé has become incredibly popular. It used to be just a style that people drank in the summertime, but now we find that uh, regions all over the globe are mimicking this pale pink style and people are drinking it all year round. So I have selected one from France. Now here we have this beautiful package, that pale pink color, the light intensity, just what you would expect from an elegant French rosé. Let's give it a try. So you can see we have this nice pale color, very delicate aromas. You get just these hints of strawberry some lemon, notes of peach. This is a very elegant but easy sipping style. If you bring a French rosé or any of these lighter rosés to a party, everybody will be absolutely pleased with it. Now you can't talk about popularity or versatility without talking about Cabernet Sauvignon, especially from California. This is one of our most requested styles for people walking into the stores. It has nice juicy characteristics, darker fruit, uh, very silky but elevated tannins, and some nice complexity from oak maturation. One of my favorites comes from California, the Sonoma region. This is the Louis Martini, but they also make an excellent quality one from Napa Valley. So if you're looking to treat yourself, um, take that extra step and look for that really dense, intense style. But let's assess a California Cabernet. We get these really nice aromas of vanilla, some coconut, some black currant notes. A medium to full bodied wine that's nice and silky. This is a wine that you can enjoy just a glass on its own. You don't need to sit down and have a full meal with it. It's um, fruity enough to stand on its own, but of course it would be really nice to share amongst friends over a nice uh, grazing table. Now along the lines of the style of that intense Sauvignon Blanc, we can also find some really intense red wines. Turning now to Italy, we have a particular style which is called a passamento or a passite. So look for those terms on the label, which indicates to you that we've got some dried grapes in the mix. This dried grape adds to some complexity and concentration in the wine. We also get some dried fruit characteristics. Because it's a little bit louder and intense and rich and decadent, it also tends to be a crowd favorite. Let's give an apacite or apacimento style wine a try. 
You get those nice dried fruit aromas. Full bodied, which is what a lot of people tend to gravitate towards. Some nice um, baking spices, dried fruit. This is quite decadent. Again, something that you may not necessarily need to have a meal with, but it does tend to be a little bit on the higher side of alcohol. So you may want to sit down and have a nice big feast with it. So here are five options of wines that I think that you should always have on hand. They uh, are crowd pleasers. They're very versatile. Drink them on their own. Bring them to a party, great hosting gifts, um, and also just something that you want to grab out of the fridge at any given moment.